Now that you know what good content is and which sorts of keywords should go on which pages, I'll show you how to get those pesky keywords into your content. These techniques can be used if you've already got well-written content on your web pages and also when checking newly written content from a copywriter who might be just learning to write for both search engines and users. Search engines traditionally can't read and index words that are contained within graphics or flash. So be sure to keep your keyword phrases out of those if at all possible. If you must use them, be sure to use alternative text or image alt attributes. You can also place your content in what's called a no script tag for content that is on your pages but not visible to search engines. But your best bet is to simply keep keyword rich content out of those areas that search engines can't read. Often web designers like to make fancy taglines or headlines, so they do so by placing them in images where they can use interesting fonts. The problem with this is that many taglines and headlines have keyword phrases contained within them. The My Kindle Reviews example website has a nice keyword rich tagline, electronic books, devices, Kindle accessories, and ebook reviews. It would be a shame for that to be a graphic which wouldn't be search friendly. One thing that I cannot stress enough is that your website users always come first. You absolutely have to make sense to people. Using keywords in your content is not about sprinkling keywords all around the website like you may have heard before. And it's not about stuffing keywords anywhere and everywhere. The trick, if you will, is in being creative. If you look at your existing website and think like a reporter by asking questions such as who, what, and where, you'll be able to answer those questions by using a descriptive keyword phrase. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say the existing content of the site talks somewhere about our reviews or says the device. Those are very non-descriptive or generic type words. By thinking like a reporter, you can ask, what kind of review or what is the device? The answers will often be a nice descriptive keyword phrase which you have previously researched. For instance, our reviews becomes our short story reviews. The device, it's an electronic reading device. Simple, right? Here's another example of good but generic content. So this paragraph from the Kindle site says, straight out of the box, you'll receive the Kindle. What kind of Kindle are we talking about here? You'll receive the Kindle itself and the charger. Well, what kind of charger is it? The plug. Again, a generic word comes apart like an iPhone charger in that you can separate the USB adapter from the plug. Again, just a generic word. What kind of plug are we talking about here? Well, let's see how we can take this one small paragraph, what is it, two sentences, and turn it into a nice keyword rich paragraph. Still two sentences. Straight out of the box, you'll receive not just the Kindle, but the electronic book reading device itself and the not just a charger, but a Kindle charger. Then we say the Kindle plug, because it's not just a plug, it's a Kindle plug, comes apart like an iPhone charger in that you can separate the USB adapter from the, what kind of plug? Kindle plug. It's as simple as that to get lots of keyword phrases into just a couple of sentences just by being more descriptive. Also remember that single keywords aren't what you're optimizing for. So when you find them in your existing content, and you will if you go back and look at your content right now, change them into keyword phrases instead. For instance, if the single word case, let's say, is within the content for our Kindle site, we're gonna review our existing keyword research and see what phrases mean the same thing as case. In this instance, a case for the Kindle could also be called a Kindle case, a Kindle cover, or even Kindle protection. So we go back to the website, find the instances of where it says case, and then use these keyword phrases instead. Another way to make sure your content provides you with the most search engine benefit is to be sure to use all different forms of your words, such as past tenses, INGs, etc. You probably noticed in your keyword research that all different forms of your phrases are searched upon at the engines. While search engines do what's called stemming, that is, they will bring up plurals when someone searches for singulars, and vice versa, it's best not to rely on this. Instead, just use all the different variations on the page. The great thing about writing this way is that it makes your copy read naturally as it's not as repetitive as it would be if you were using just one form of the phrase. 
I'm often asked how people can use both plurals and singulars of a phrase on the same page. I'm not quite sure why people think it will be difficult, as we do it all the time when we're speaking or writing. So here's just a quick example of two different sentences from a page that use singular and plural versions. You could say on the page, I ordered my Kindle case, the singular, at the same time. And then somewhere else on the page, it might say, check out the Kindle cases now. It's pretty simple to use both forms within the same page. So the content really, really matters. Good web writing can bring extremely targeted visitors from the search engines and then convert them into customers by what you say on the page.